What's up, Virgo? Welcome to your December 2018 Tarot Scope Tarot Reading Tarot Vibe. This is Water Star Vibes. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you guys need a private reading, hit me up, waterstarvibes at gmail.com. For more information, hit up the description box. Now, Virgo, we only got a few more weeks left in this year. So it's some stuff we need to cut, get rid of. So I'm going to be giving you three angel answer oracle cards to see what areas you need to pay attention to spiritually walking in, see if we need to release anything, see if any chakra information comes up. Because walking into this brand new year, we ain't got time for a lot of stuff. Got to let a lot of stuff go. Manifestations are on the way. What will you receive? All right, so here we go. First card up, vegetarian, vegan. Wow. Archangel Raphael. And heal away addictions. Okay, so some of you guys are going to be, like this first one says, going vegan some of you guys have that new resolution to go vegan and for those who don't want to go vegan listen you ain't gotta go vegan but what i do need you to do is infuse more of those leafy greens okay if it grows that's what you eat okay you want stuff that grows you don't want stuff that's that's dead you want fresh fruits you want fresh vegetables those are not only going to help you with your health and your body those are going to help vibration they're going to help your vibration rise they're going to help that third eye open up even more okay they're going to help those chakras to spin now you guys are being supported okay you have so much angelic help around you so make sure that for the rest of this year as you're praying and as you are setting your intentions or your resolutions for the new year just know that you have so much angelic support around you okay god is with you he's listening now heal away addictions but some of you guys your resolution will be to you know stop drinking or stop doing certain drugs or whatever but you know some of your addictions are vulnerability um some of you guys don't want to be vulnerable you're addicted to being tough some of you guys are addicted to being sad some of you guys are addicted to being the victims some of you guys are addicted to your roles like what whatever has been known of you your whole life some of you guys are addicted to that person and you can't change because you don't want to be someone you've never known well that's what 2019 20 and 21 is all about true transformation you can't think that you know as a baby you're going to stay that size forever if god allows you to live to see 21 you think you're going to be the same size of the baby no that's impossible unless you have some type of condition which you know happens but you know if you are full and able body you know that you're going to grow whether you like it or not so in 2019 you're going to grow into a new self you live in time you're going to multiply yourself you're going to have different versions of yourself come about you're going to learn more about yourself some of you guys are going to be more open more drawn to being like some of you guys that are introverts will become major extroverts this year i'm really getting that that's amazing though social butterflies all right let's get into this tarot at the center of the reading all three earth signs got this i told y'all y'all are on the same page for some of you guys this is the addictions you're killing the addictions it's over with with you know uh whatever like i said some of them may be drugs or drinking some of y'all are done with the meat. It is done. I'm not eating nothing else dead. I ain't eating nothing else that don't grow. I'm not eating anything else that doesn't help me vibrate at a high frequency. Now, the grand finale. This is people. Like, I'm done with you. But good for show. It's over with. You're not going into 2019 with me. You're staying right here in 2018. I will not see you. I will not know you. You didn't exist. And they gone. Okay, now what's crossing that? Six of Swords. Some of y'all are getting on like that way. 
okay some of y'all have been dealing with some true drama Aquarius Libra Gemini energy for both of these some of y'all have been dealing with some major drama and all you wanted to do was get away and it looks like you're gonna get that opportunity this could be a job too for some of y'all it's like I'm tired I don't want to be here no more I don't want to do this no more for some of y'all it's a traveling job where you always constantly you know in and out of the state you know you in and out of every city or you are like a regional manager and you have to manage multiple uh businesses at once so you're going from here to there and then to there and it's all like crazy and hectic and you don't like it anymore and you're like i'm out of here i'm done it's dead and i'm moving on to something else calmer and that's what you're gonna do hmm eight of swords look at all these swords man it's a lot of mental mental things going on some of you guys this is the mental challenge of those addictions Okay, it's the mental challenge of men addicted to certain people. I mean, let me tell you something. People can be an addiction. Oh, people can be your addiction. Y'all don't even get along. Y'all fight and argue all the time. And you still just be like, gotta see that person. Gotta be with that person. But this is the eight of swords right here. So this is what's in the root of it all. This is like some anxiety. This is mental traps again. This is the stories we tell ourselves. This is the, the this is to me the place where all of the, the I can'ts and I won't and uh someone else is doing it to me and and i i just the i can'ts are coming from here from this place here but it's all mental in the recent past we got the six of pentacles so some of you guys felt like you gave so much some of y'all i'm feeling like 2018 y'all tried so hard okay for certain things to happen you try so hard to find in a relationship Okay, you try so hard to make things work, whether it was a job related or, you know, some type of project, some type of entrepreneurial event. Some of you guys tried to stop with your addiction. Some of you guys really gave it a good go and had, you know, a long, nice run. All right. But did it last? Maybe because we got the six here. I mean, it's the generosity card. So some of you guys felt like you gave it your all. You gave a lot. Okay. But with this being card, a card of balance, it's kind of like to me saying that what, what you gave or what you thought you gave and like money or um, like your time, your energy, your effort, you received back in knowledge. Okay. So if you made an investment anywhere, you tried to talk to somebody about something, you tried to do something for somebody, understand that your investment may not have come back in the monetary form. It may have come back in a form of knowledge, higher learning, uh, uh another notch on your belt in terms of spirituality you know what i'm saying you got to pay attention to stuff like that in order to know where that where that uh payback manifested okay all right in your head four of cups you don't want this anymore whatever this energy is here you don't want it anymore this again could be those addictions this could be the person the people the job you don't want it anymore it's done it's like it's nasty it's like you started off with a drink and it tasted great and then after a while it's like no i don't want that it's disgusting please get that out of my face some of y'all just not having it in the near future queen of cups so some of you guys will be moving on to a cancer scorpio pisces you'll be leaving behind behind a aquarius libra gemini you'll be moving on to cancer scorpio pisces Someone loving, someone nurturing, someone caring, someone who uh, is deserving of your love because they give um, just as much as you would give in a relationship. Okay, this person is also very generous in the um, in the love department, and and what I mean by that is like this is the type of person that'll pray for you and you wouldn't even know. You know, this is the type of person where you're driving down the street and this person is at home and they're just sending you loving vibes like, oh, you know, they're just in their head like, I just want you to know that I love you. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. Like, really mushy. Ew. Anyway, so what you fear? Strength. I forgot what sign. What I think it was Gemini. Like, some of y'all are afraid to unleash. I mean, I know that sometimes just letting uh, your hair down and swinging it around can be a little scary but at the same time if there's someone there supporting you if there's someone there who will cheer you on then why not let your hair down i mean even if this is you nurturing and loving yourself but some of y'all this is not moving on to another person at all this is moving on to a new level of love for self 
okay somebody who's going to cherish who they are who's going to love and nurture themselves into healing okay heal away addictions not not sit there and fiend all night but heal heal makes the process a little bit easier okay then force heal not force but some of you guys really don't want to let your inner lion roar I'm telling you, 2019, you're going to have to get to know a new you, okay? You move into new levels of self. So you're going to have to be open to being out there, especially for some of y'all who are really trying to attract, like, the love of your life. Like, what do you want the love of your life to be like? You know? You're going to have to cultivate that through your actions, okay? How do people see you? The Hierophant. Five, first of all, change. You changed. Okay, Virgo? You've changed. But you want to know what the change is? It's like the spiritual part. Okay, because it's like you was up in your head so long with all of this energy. It's like when you step away or you could step away. Like if some of you guys are in this situation now, it's like you're going to get an escape path. Okay, and you'll be able to escape. And people will be looking at you like you changed. But this is spiritual knowledge. For some of y'all, this is contractual agreements. You may be looking like to this person, to this Cancer Scorpio Pisces, that you could be um, marriage material. All right. Some of you guys may be getting looked at like you are very knowledgeable. You are a higher being with a lot of spiritual knowledge and guidance. And you have a lot to offer. Okay. But whatever the case may be, the energy of how you're seen is like you've changed, but it's not in a negative way. I told you, you're going to new higher levels of self. And if this is you being the Hierophant, that means you are the leader. Okay? So people are seeing you as the leader. For some of you guys, this is what I just got. You'll be leaving a domestic violence situation. Okay? And you'll be able to tell other people about it. And they will be blessed because of it. And you you are the one who will bring change to other people's lives, okay? So, keep that in mind. Now, what you hope for? The chariot. So, you definitely hope for some forward movement. This represents cancer, okay? So, this queen of cups right here. You guys could be desiring this cancer person because they make you feel very warm and very loving. And they are that person, okay? They are who they say they are. And this energy here is that person arriving. This person is coming on in. This person is making movements. This person is taking action. You guys are um, being on one accord. Okay, we got those two sphinxmen down there. I love to say the balance, the yin, the yang, the black, the white, the masculine, the feminine, the twin flames. It's my favorite. But that's what that is. That's what that looks like, you know, and that's what you hope for. So some of you guys, this this is that contractual agreement, which is a marriage certificate. Some of you guys might want to move on from this energy so you can get with this one here. Let's see what happens. Final outcome, Knight of Wands. So some of y'all definitely going to be reaching out to this person or this person is definitely going to be reaching out to you. With you, Earth signs, y'all, let me tell you what. Y'all really leaving people in the past who you thought was going to be there for a long time and y'all trading up. I mean, that should be the title. It's probably not going to be, but I'm telling you now, y'all trading up. Like real, real. It's like you're trading. It's, it's like you're trading. Like the scale. I keep going back to like, it's like you're trading something. Okay. It's like, I don't want it anymore. So I'm giving up the job. I'm giving up the mental strain. I'm giving up this old relationship. I'm giving up uh, trying for something, beating a dead horse. I'm done. Okay. I'm done. And I'm going to move on to something that I like that fits me that's a lot better. And I don't care who don't like it. And I don't care who don't please. Because guess what? It's going to be 2019. And ain't nobody got time for that. Some of y'all going to drop that meat. Some of y'all going to get rid of them addictions. You're going to use your higher spiritual power. And it ain't going to be no way to stop you. You did. Now, let's see what the bottom of the deck say. What did I just say? The sun card. So once we clear this out, all of this old, all of this stay yourself in 2018, the sun card, the happiest card in the deck. And I believe that like you're one of the only signs that got this card. So you should be very happy. Okay. Because you got so much good stuff coming in 2019. It makes me happy. And I don't have no earth in my chart. 
But I'm going to get some of your energy. I'm going to absorb that. I'm going to absorb it. I'm going to absorb it. <laughs> because that's some good energy to have walking into a brand new year. Okay? This is the type of energy. No offense to my cross watchers. But this is the type of energy that make you feel bad for people that get left behind. Because you don't get to soak the sun up like me. Some of y'all going to be on a beach somewhere. And your ex or some other people who doubted you, they're not going to be laid up. All right. That's what I got for you, Taurus. I mean, I can't say no more than that. The sun card. The happiest card in the deck. You're going to go from this here, this eight of swords, this mental trap energy, this not feeling the greatest, not feeling like you can do it, to the sun. To all of that being blocked away. To every lesson you had to learn in 2018. To everything that you got coming in 2019. You're going to move on. You're going to let it go. And you're going to walk into being that brand new person. That's what I got for you, Virgo. I'll see you guys later on this month.